Hi, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, and this topic is the eight rules of love. And this is all about marriage. And this is turning into much more than I thought when I did the very first one. This is part three, and this is about fidelity. So we already covered a discussion about love, and I urge you to go back to the original part one, if you haven't. And part two was the number one rule, which is loyalty. And that naturally leads into the second rule of love, which is fidelity. It's not the same as loyalty. And if you watch the one on loyalty, you'll understand. Loyalty is much bigger than just fidelity. So fidelity, we, because of the way things are in the world right now, there, there's this openness and an open appreciation of pornography, masturbation, regarding sex as a recreation, regarding sex as a way of connecting, sort of, but it's more recreational, which is why people go, how was that for you? It was great for me and, and like that. And it's also why people burn out with sex in their marriage, intimacy in their marriage. And that's because they don't understand that sex for animals is all about procreation. But what happens is we as human beings use sex, of course, for procreation, but more importantly, to help us have that deeper connection with our spouse. And having that means having a dedicated determination to use that sex, that sex drive, the sexual desire, just for your spouse and no one else and never be distracted by bodies or images or thoughts or voices or anything that is not coming from your spouse. This is about fidelity and it's not a moral restriction. It is laid out as a moral guardrail so that you can be focused, so that you can just, if you're a man, just stay focused on your wife, not pleasuring her, connecting with her. Stay focused on your husband. So even if you're not in the mood, still it's an opportunity to have that connection with him that will bring you closer, not down here sexually, not up here, psychologically, but here, spiritually. Because then you'll experience marriage for what it's intended for. To separate you from the rest of the world and just have you connected in this way to your husband or wife in a way that brings happiness. Because marriage is all about happiness which means it's all about love, which means it's all about harmony. And so these rules of love are so that you know that you're doing it right. And when you do it right, you will feel happiness like you've never felt before. I call it joy. Joy is above happiness. Happiness is something that happens when you get something you wanted, when you are on a great vacation, but joy is something you're walking around within. It's a spiritual bubble. And you and your spouse should be walking around in that spiritual bubble all the time in that joy, experiencing the one thing that never fails to produce happiness, love. Ever increasing, ever expanding. And so that's why fidelity is so important. It's a way of segregating all your thoughts away from anyone else 
away from the temptations and staying in tune with your spouse. It's so beautiful. So I really appreciate your coming to the Marriage Foundation. Go to our website, see what all we have to offer because it's special, it's different, it's not like anywhere else. Because it's not just spiritual, it's not religious, it's definitely not Western psychology. It's all about treating marriage as the most amazing relationship we can possibly have in this world. Think about it. This ties to fidelity. The only person who you have ever loved without any biological or psychological compulsion is your spouse. It's completely 100% voluntary. What do you do with that? It's deep. Marriage is deep. I'm Paul Friedman. I'm not so deep, but I've learned these things and I love sharing them. Like the video, share the video. God bless you. And if you haven't seen the other videos on this topic, go back. And there's more coming because there's eight beautiful, glorious rules of love. Take care. Thank you.